this is optical imaging. And so this makes use of seeing out into the near infrared, which is an area that you and I can't see with our own eyes. So we have a camera that can see into the near infrared. And we design agents that fluoresce in the near infrared. And we can use it as a new tool to see inside the body. What we've done is designed an agent that will target the margin of a tumor. So you have a solid tumor mass. And then around the tumor mass, you have these tumor cells that begin to creep out. It's basically how tumors grow. A surgeon can go in with relatively ease and, and move a solid mass. But if they leave behind these cells in the tumor margin, they can get local recurrence. So the system works um, with Polly as our, our patient here. Um, this actually is designed for open surgery. So the surgeon's working looking you know, at the screen for guidance, but taking his cues from what the cameras are, are collecting. If you turn on with these red LEDs, you'll see how poly fluoresces, and this is in the near infrared. So this is basically what we're trying to do, is take a human who doesn't fluoresce, inject them with a compound so that they will fluoresce, and then the surgeon can use this to guide himself, himself around, around inside the patient. So here's a solid tumor mass. And what we've done is been able to design this agent to go around the ring of this tumor. And the surgeon would go in and just cut along yeah. the fluorescent line. In doing so, they get the solid mass, but they also get the cells in the, in the fringe or in the margin area. So why do you have so many cameras around there? So those are just LEDs. These are only two cameras are right here. The LEDs are used in this primitive setting to excite the dyes. If you could envision this in the, in the future, it would be part, hopefully, of every standard operating room out there.